Yo, what is up guys, Ghost here, and today I am super happy because we just got news of a new feature that we've all been requesting for Battlefield 2042 since day one. Before we get started though, if you do enjoy the content, please consider hitting that sub button so you don't miss out on any future videos. We are coming in very close to 41,000 subs now, about 200 to go I think, so I will be really grateful for that. Okay, so just yesterday, DICE had one of their live streams where they sat down with a few Battlefield 2042 developers, played some Battlefield, and as usual, they answered some of our questions. Now, I didn't bother watching this one because the last one didn't really give us a whole lot of new information, and it seemed like DICE were dodging uh, a lot of the questions being asked by myself, uh, Hebe and a bunch of other people about the vehicles. However, this time around, we did actually get something pretty juicy. So one of the viewers asked, when are we going to be able to talk crap to the other team? Obviously referring to the uh, lack of all chat. And Stratford replied, simply saying, stay tuned, we've got some news coming there that will make you happy. Somebody then posted this on Reddit and Tom also replied there, saying listen to the new Inside Battlefield podcast episode on Monday for more deets. So this to me is truly one of those things I've really missed about Battlefield, namely just chatting shit with the enemy team, man. I think EA wanted this out of the game to deter so-called toxicity, but that only led to people who actually wanted to be toxic directing it at their teammates instead, and after all, that's why we have the reporting system, right? If somebody's being a dick, if they're out of line, hey, just report them. The lack of all chat has been sorely missed. How many times have you gotten an insane kill on an enemy player but not been able to see their reaction? Or maybe somebody hits you with like a one in a thousand shot and you just want to reach out and say, really nice shot man, well done. Well now it sounds like that will be possible. I mean they didn't specifically say we are getting all chat, but I mean if it's good news concerning all chat, like what else could it be? Now, on top of that, DICE also confirmed, I think it was a couple of weeks ago now, this time on the Inside Battlefield podcast, that squad management features will be returning also. Nika Bender, one of the producers on the live service, explained that while squad management has been one of the most requested features, the team simply needed to finish and deploy the new Battlefield 2042 class system first. So she said squad management is something that our players have been asking for and we know it's one of the features that players expected to have when we launch the game. We are looking into it, the thing is we wanted to get the class system out, there are other things we wanted to change and release before we jump on squad management. We have to pick and choose, that's the challenge, you can't have it all at the same time. So basically it's always been on their list but it was simply a matter of prioritization, they decided to prioritize vault weapons, uh, aka getting more weapons into the game, and the class system. Now that those things are done, then hopefully we can expect some squad management features pretty soon. But what should we expect from a squad management system? Simple features like being able to lock squads, kick players, create squads, and switch squads, certainly. But also hopefully an XP bonus that's tied into capturing objectives with your squad as well. Now, in addition to that, they did also cover vault weapons. They were asked about skins for vault weapons, and they pretty much said the same thing there. Stay tuned. So it sounds like they do have skins for vault weapons in the works, but they aren't quite yet ready to uh, share anything on that front. Next Monday's episode 7 of Inside Battlefield is yet to be announced, so we don't know who will be on the show or what the subject matter will be as they always have like a certain focus from week to week but Tom has confirmed that there will be something about all chat in the podcast so I fully expect for them to delve into the squad management changes coming there too. Now if you miss the changes that are coming to the Flashpoint map go and check out this video here if that tickles your fancy but as always thank you for spending a bit of time with me today and I'll see you later.